Hello my dear friends welcome back to Smart Stranger YouTube channel I'm your favorite Shamata and I'm back again with a new video So in this video I'm going to cover everything about Manipal entrance test and I'll cover the syllabus and I'll also I'll cover the exam pattern everything In the end of the video I will also clear a few of your doubts regarding it So watch it till the end prepare well for your exams and I'll be more than happy to see you in the campus as my juniors So let's get the video started So I have a very poor memory so I just wrote it down that is to be covered. We will start with the exam pattern. You will write the exam in the online mode but you have to go to the respective centers and then write the exam in the computers. Not pen paper test, you write it in the computers and the exam consists of four sections for BTech branch, physics, chemistry, math and English. There are total of 60 questions. So 15 questions in physics, 15 questions in chemistry, 20 in math and 10 in English and each question carries 4 marks so 60 into 4 that is 6 four, ah, 24 so 240 marks no negative marks for the wrong answers for BTEC exams but for MTEC exams one mark will be deducted for each wrong answer so this is the overall exam pattern so let's start with the syllabus the syllabus is mostly from 11th and 12th portions not just the, you should be very clear with the concepts of it and you should know how to solve the most creative and analytical problems and if you are passing I mean sorry uh, if you are preparing for the JE mains and exams and this is going to be very easy for you because the difficulty of MET paper is less compared to the JE mains paper. Mm, the math syllabus will be algebra. Algebra is very very important and then trigonometry, vectors, conic sections, calculus. All these are very very important and you have to cover it off in the math section no matter what it takes and a few least important topics are probability, coordinate geometry, matrix, sets, relations and functions and linear inequalities and there is no definite syllabus for MET exams but this is all the, this, these are all based on the previous year question papers so it's not that this is the perfect syllabus but there are more chances that these kind of questions will be asked and the physics syllabus includes the most important ones are wave optics that's very important laws of motion and gravitation all those uh, weird <laughs> uh, questions regarding uh, analytical questions will be asked and electrostatic heat and thermodynamics is also very important and uh, current and electricity and the least there is nothing as least important topic in physics everything is really very important and make sure you have all the formulas in your brain so which will be very useful while solving the questions and I have covered ray optics motion and, and motion in 1D and 2D that's also important and don't forget magnetism it's a small chapter but still it's very important one or two questions might be asked from magnetism and mechanics of solids and fluids that is also important and then the chemistry the chemistry syllabus includes both organic and inorganic chemistry and electrochemistry and catalysis Remember the equation. There are so many equations. It means it's been nearly two years that I don't remember the equations at all. But still, you remember the equations and the color of the solution, etc. etc. And the periodic table is very important. P block, D block, F block, and know the characteristics of the block elements. It's no question will be direct. I'm telling you again, no question will be direct. Uh, it will be in a twisted form. You have to think to write the answer. It will be like that and don't forget the redox reactions and polymers is the easiest one in physics I mean chemistry so just give a go give a glance of it and uh, chemical equi equilibrium and kinematics acid basic concepts or acid based concepts are also very important and uh, what else is there equilibrium redox reactions be thorough with the concepts of redox reactions so that you will be able to answer any to any analytical questions from that and thermochemistry, isomerism, all give it a glance and colloids also. And the left out is, I'm done with physics, chemistry, math. The left, the left out is English. English, 
is a very easy scoring section in the MIT exam. It's going to be very basic English. If you have known the grammar well, you can easily score nearly 40 marks directly in English because English section consists of 10 marks and the 10 grammar questions, very easy grammar questions. If you know English properly, you'll be able to do it. It'll be like that. It will be kind of confusing, but you can do it. So there's no need to worry about English. So that is the exam pattern in the syllabus of the exam. And it's going to be easy. It's not going to be very difficult. It's going to be a very moderate paper. And don't just expect a direct question. No direct questions will be there. It will be kind of twisted. Less difficult than a J mains paper. Start your preparations right now and uh, re uh, try to refer to the previous year question papers which will be found in the net and try to solve them before uh, one week of the exams. Don't start your preparations freshly before the one week. Just try to revise whatever you know. If you are thorough in the concepts of 10th and 12th, then you can rock the exam easily. So let's move on to the doubt clearing session. The most common doubt you guys have is should I pay extra 2000 money to write my phase 2 exam? The answer is no, you need not pay extra for writing phase 2 exam. For example, you can write the exam twice, phase 1 and phase 2. In case if you are not able to write the phase 1 exam, you can directly write phase 2 exam after booking the slots for phase 2. You need not pay 2000 rupees extra again. But make sure you don't book the slots for phase 1 exam. In case you book the slots for phase 1 exam and you did not attempt, but you wanted to write phase 2, then you have to pay 2000 rupees again and write phase 2 exam. So I think I cleared this dot. If you are not going to write your phase 1 exam, don't book the slots for phase 1 exam. Directly book the slots for phase 2 exam and write the phase 2 exam. That is it. And also before exam, before one, four days of the exam, try to write all the formulas of all the three subjects, physics, chemistry and math and keep it with you. So you can just refer the formulas at the last minute. Uh, because that will be very very helpful for your preparation because no formula book will be given you have to remember recall the formulas and put it over there and find the solution so make a formula book of all the three subjects before writing the exam and no cheating is possible cheating is really not possible you're going to write it online mode and in the exam center so it's not possible so don't even think of all that just stay calm and give it a go you will definitely get into mit and I'll see you all in the campus. If you have any other doubts regarding the slot booking or exams or anything regarding Manipal application or admission, just write it to me in the comment section or DM me on my Instagram page, sharmata underscore 152. So that's it, my dear friends. I will meet you guys in the next super duper upcoming vlog. It's going to be very interesting and amazing vlog. Wait for it for just five more days. I'm going to upload it and stay tuned and subscribe for more videos like share and comment Ta -ta, bye bye see you love you loads